Good morning. Good afternoon. Good evening. Good night. Depending when you're watching this smidgen of film. It's Saturday. We'll work out the date. 23rd on the 20th. Yep. 20th of May. I'm our kid and I'm here to hopefully get that starboard panel in today get it all insulated and fitted and then possibly move on to a, a job on the back against the rear bulkhead of doing the bit of angle iron on the bottom that we have here only a thin bit because he doesn't need too much it's not going to be taking some more weight that, get that cut down, cleaned up, drilled through the bulkhead, bolted into place, and then at the back here, I'll put it all tidied up. At the back here, we have some more of that real strong timber like that. So, cut the section to fit on there, get that in level for the floorboards. That eventually will be fitting. It's up and back there. Uh, as I always say, it's crap. I do wonder how many people actually out there that do watch it. There's not many, going by the numbers that have watched the earlier uh, vlogs. Okay, well, Roy, um, as you know, you've uh, anyway, forged a great career uh, I think representing. Why don't you turn the radio off? Uh, well, those who don't A, I can't really be bothered, and B, and so it's for that reason that I would Just like to be representative on and off, on and off, on and off. When these vlogs, <laughs> snippets, I'm not one to indulge don't take long. And plus, I do I like think, um, Campbell and Peckham would probably be the radio in the background. For me. Um, so, I think my radio, I can play radio on too. So. A new political party. <laughs> and so I thought the incredibly liberal Democrats. Um, also, I think you've got to sort of communicate Report number two. with the right language that your own electorate understand. That's something that you um, successfully did in your career. Report number two. I <coughs> need some sort of slogan. Um, I might be inspired by some of the great ones of the past. Um, Report number two. It isn't working and it's today. Gay. <laughs> Panel, shape the best I can. So they're drawing there in the back of it. So we'll be coming in very shortly. And it is slated. So, better than some of the weekends. Cracked on pretty well today. Quite quickly. So uh, that'll be fitted. And then we'll have a break. We. I was just having a kit already. I'm going to crack on with the next job. That panel went in a lot better. Get the hang of it. Then that one. So, next mission is get the vacuum farted up. Give this place a good clean out. Then move all my stuff at the back there and get cracking on that floor section. Let's turn this rusty bit of angle line into a shiny one. Plus drill the holes in. Tick tock, eat right out. Of course, as you've got it all nice and shiny, let's get it painted, get it prepped for installation. Right. Actually, redox is a bit.
Painted the angle. Cut down the timber to match. Just screwed on these sections here. And let's go and offer it in place on the boot on the tray bridge. Now we've had the engine bay open due to I've been feeding the bolts. Oh, bro. Feeding the bolts through. Liked and trusted by the natives everywhere. In Africa, they call him the man who keeps his mouth shut and judges fairly. Any unusual deaths connected with him? No. There's one precedent, possibly through your book. Close the door. Should it be interior of the American? Now this is going to be the tricky bit. With that bolt, I can feed back through. I can feed back through if need be. This one was a struggle. So I'm hoping my calculations are all wrong. I mean, uh, right. See, I'll put the nut back on just to stop it. Sud's law to disappear back through. I'm hoping this is not going to go tips up. So this one I'm worried about. They're pushing through because, as I say, it's right under the engine brake. To get it in. I'm hoping that I can jiggle it. It's going to be tight. Uh, it is. forward to finishing a day of work coming down here get on the boat and relaxing panel in that is looking very nice now and also whip around with the vacuum and what I got planned, what I had planned at the back here, just an angle line along the bottom there, timber on the top, 
the bits of framework and now they when we do get the floorboards it will be scaffolding clamps cramp planks tired they will be able to butt right up to the edge the saying that I may because I've cordoned that off you've got a trap there to uh, assess the situation and to access that bilge pump. Plan tomorrow is, as I say, cut down some timbers the same diameters and then start making the slats to go across to link them all up. See you tomorrow. Good morning. I have a slight confession. That there's something been on my mind about Trout Bridge that's been worrying me. Easter, when my nephew Jack came over and we took Trout Bridge up towards Tipton and back, when we moored up here, I came down these stairs to find a puddle of water. That sends a shock through your mind, thinking, where's that water come from? Is, it, is the boat leaking? Well, that was a month ago, a bit longer than that, and we're still floating. So there's a good sign. But I've been mopping up water from one spot in this boat since then and we've had just about one black bucket full of water out of it now it's been slightly getting lower and lower because every time we stand on the boat and rock it over to that port side the little area would fill up here i'll show you, I'll show you. This little area here was filling up with water and I was mopping it up with a sponge and putting it in a bucket. Now yesterday while making stuff we got a boat coming. There's been a, a hole situated down here. Now I dug it out a bit and you can still see, I don't think you can still see it shiny bit down there, it's a bit damp. Well I set the vacuum onto not drawing dust up, drawing water, it's a wet and dry one, drawing water up. And I ran the vacuum for a fair while around the hole, positioned it with two bricks, and it was sucking water up. Look at that. I can't wait to be doing that. Well, hey. Now, we'll see if that builds back up again. It's like a spot, it keeps coming back. We'll see if that builds up again, but. Now, the water out there is green. The water this vacuum's been sucking up is pretty clear. So it is what I thought it could be, but you still don't know. There's, I was having a chat with Paul and he said it could be a weld with a slight weep or something like that. But this, I don't know if I've stated this before on well, I was on Ozzy's website. Right, we have, we have. That is the original floor. And the chap with Andy, who we bought the bought trout bridge off, had welded in a complete new floor. Now, since then, as you saw, when we emptied trout bridge, 
there was a lot of water on the boat that had been generated for when before the winds had been done and different leaks that we found so there was a lot of water on the boat now clearing the floor looked dry but as you can see by that, that hole there is a gap between floor and new floor so how much water was sat under the under the you know underneath between the two layers plus being bare skinned over the winters that it's been sat here condensation has been a lot of water dripping off that off the Malcolm hatch condensation plus uh, the last time we fired up the stove I let it cool overnight and it was a very cool cold night I walked on this boat in the morning and the condensation was just dripping off the wall it was wet the whole room was wet so you think all that water has worked its way down and before we blackened and tried sealing this section has worked its way down between the two layers so that's what I was hoping it was so we're still not too sure yet we'll see if the water gets regenerated again but we think as we did remove it the last time and we've had a lot of work done on it the front end's come down there's been a lot of bit displacement and the water is starting to work its worked its way down and of course we have been putting it to the limit on the speed so the back front end has been going up it's been different experimentals all around that the water came out at that time out of these holes and filled this area up so we'll sell we'll see but we got that amount of water out yesterday with the vacuum and I shall just keep a monitor on there and there see if it builds up anyway that was a, so I'm feeling a bit more relaxed about it because I've come down this morning and there's and say there's a dampness down there but there's not it's not full of water.
walking back home. So, not a bad weekend. Had a nice little chat with uh, chap who runs that boat, Roach. So if you're after Roach coal boat, there's the details. You can pause that bit if you need it. Anyway, Sunday. I'm gonna wash and brush up and go home for my Sunday dinner. See you soon. Look after yourselves. She's our kid scene. Good garbage.